Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dunk Dunk Country 2. Last time we finished Crocodile Cauldron, and in this video we're going to start Krim Quay. Not going to be finishing it, I'm probably going to record all of it in one go. But, let's see how everything goes. Not as good as in this world as I was in the previous two, but, again, we'll see what happens. So you got these barrels that you can move around yourself, but they automatically shoot you out when the timer runs out. It's kind of weird. And then you got these enemies that throw certain items. Usually just crap to annoy you, but whatever. <laughs> Whoop, up, oh! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, phew. Probably should have got that coin, but whatever. I'm not worried about it. Here we got moving barrels. Alright, jump over the zinger. Hmm. Oh well. <clears throat> I'm not even worried about getting bonuses or anything. At this point, I really don't care. So, uh, these barrels were in the second world, but using them a little more extensively here. <laughs> okay. This barrel moves automatically, and it shoots you automatically, too. So. And I forgot the end somewhere. Oh well. There's a bonus right here. Might as well get it done our way. To find the token. That's cool. There you go. Duh. And another extra life to put us up to 45. Da, 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 da. Gotta love those ending songs, too. Alright, Glimmer's Galleon. And this is another kind of water level. But it's dark here. Okay, I'm gonna be very wary here that whenever you switch it over, it kind of makes a flash. So, uh, just a warning there. I'm probably not gonna try and do that too much, though. But, uh, just a warning that when I do switch over, you know, left or right, it's gonna make a big flash. Just as a bit of a warning, I don't know if anyone's, you know, like that, but, uh, yeah. I'm sorry if that does hurt anyone's eyes. It's hurting mine, just from watching the screen. So, oh god, ow. I'm sorry. Doesn't help I'm a spastic either. Uh, like that. Puffer fish. Alright. Can I get a DK barrel, please? No, 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 no. Oh, there's one down there. Oh, shoot. Well, that sucks. Anyway, let's try that again, shall we? This time with less fail, that's like the f second- this is the second level of Daiden. Which is kind of interesting. Now, there's supposed to be- stop flashing the light, please. Uh, I don't know where Ingard is. I think I forgot to mention his name. But oh well. Shit on knowing guard. Ah, you jerk! Oops. 
No, there was not a D, D, uh, D, uh, DK barrel. Oh god, oh god, I got in. There's a checkpoint barrel here, though. And there's the DK barrel. Alright. You know, those starfish just bounce around and try and hit you. They're annoying, but easily dodged. Thankfully. Alright, now make our way. Oh no, I lost Dixie yet again. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to head this way. Whoa. Almost got nailed by the starfish. Oh no, 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 no! No! Bad fish. Bad fish. Don't do that. You just don't do that. Alright. Yeah! That starfish came fairly close to hitting me. Yeah, avoid me at all costs, please. Okay, I think I'm just gonna stay on here and go around. Stupid fish. Alright. Of course, there's a couple of them up here. Uh, that light gets really annoying. I'm sorry. Alright, now I'm done with it. Alright, if you come to the end of this, you're gonna see the end of the level. Um, never mind. Wrong level. I got a bunch of bananas. Okay. <laughs> Gotta love that. Awesome theme. Alright, Crockhead Clamber. Should be another swamp level. Here we got these sword dudes who are very easy to avoid. We also got these little... I, I don't think they're bamboo stalks, but they're something quite similar. You got the dragonflies in the swamp. And of course, you got the dudes that spring up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know any of these enemies' names. You know what? I'll take that. <laughs> But this is what they mean by crockhead clamber. Gonna see a bunch of crocodile heads. And that's where you need to step on them. Oh goodness. And having Dixie is pretty much essential. But I switch this to make your heads appear. Oh god. Ah, I knew that was gonna happen. So you want to jump over this guy? That guy with the box. And looks like you're going to die there, but you're not. That one's a bit tricky. But you can jump off these guys. I don't recommend it, but you can. Be careful here. Brown one to launch you up. Of course. How did I die? Someone explain that one to me? I don't understand it that one bit, but whatever. And up here. There's a bonus that I kinda missed, but again not that I care. <laughs> All you gotta do is kill the zingers with Squitter. <laughs> and there you go. Let's 
Let's not lose Dixie, please. So just jump on the crackheads and make your way towards the end of the level. That's a combo action. Oh god. Boom, boom. Okay, there you go. There was a G in there, but oh well. <laughs> Kinda missed it. Not that I really needed it anyway. And we're on to the next level. Rattle battle. And we're on another pirate ship. How this works, I have no idea. But you're actually playing as Rattler. Or I I guess that's his name. So, when you're actually the characters, you'll see that in the bottom left-hand corner, there's an icon of another one. That means you have a second, uh, life. Or the other player. So, fairly simple level. I mean, you just, uh, snake here. Jump off this guy. Or you can use a A jump. I can't remember what those bananas are for, but whatever. I'm just gonna make my way through this level. Kill enemies, I see. That's fun, you know. Killing enemies. Still don't know what those bananas are doing. It's kind of weirdly placed, I guess. At the end, you gotta jump on that. I missed the O anyway. Something over here, though. Painstakingly obvious. Yeah. Probably gonna be a destroy them all. Or collect the stars. I guess that works too. Gonna collect 75 of them within 45 seconds. I think that's what it gave me. Make use of his A ability. There you go. Well, they're only going to ex explain the ones that I get. Alright, here you can actually get hurt by the cannonball, even though you may step under something. It'll still hurt you, so don't do it. <laughs> There's the G, not that it matters. So as, as you probably saw, I walked off the cliff and then pressed the jump button. Uh, what that does is you can kind of like jump in midair. Same thing happens if you kind of roll off a cliff or something. I don't know where the DK barrel is, but okay. It's kind of weird. This club is kiosk. We're just gonna go up here to slam climb here. And this is a pretty annoying level. Especially if we're going 400%. What? What? I let go of the barrel. Plenty of times. <laughs> okay, not really, but I, I know I let go of the barrel. Ah, like that. Okay. Climb up here, and you want to move it as quickly as possible. Excuse me. That slime does follow. Eventually starts to actually uh, 
make a difference. Barrel here you can take to take a bit of a shortcut. And there's a bonus. No, not a bonus, okay. Another shortcut leading to the... Oh yeah, there's a invincibility down here. Probably gonna need that. Very useful if you actually want to get 100% too. Those guys barely miss me. Oh god. Ah. Alright, so far so good. For the most part. Go. Music in this game is awesome. Whoa, that was close. Okay, that's a bonus, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Where's Diddy? Yeah, well... DK coin is right there. And it even shows it right there. For no apparent reason, but whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it. Alright. Now we have our first Bramble Blast level. Oh, these levels are fun. So, basically, these levels are all about the brambles. I kinda missed Diddy there. Alright, so... Most of these levels... are quite difficult. Actually, they're not that bad, for the most part. Um, they all follow a similar pattern... of, uh... level... Where if you follow the bananas, you're gonna find the way to go. So, simply follow bananas, and you will find out where to go. And all these levels have a ton of barrels. So, be prepared to aim correctly. Um, here. Okay, so you want to go back here. Okay, then up here, into this barrel. Alright. And down here for some reason, I can't remember why. Oh, okay, this is the way to go. Alright, then you get barrels like these, which are fairly easy. The only barrels you really need to watch out for are the ones that are pretty much free anywhere to go. Uh, yeah, these ones right here. Probably the most annoying barrels. But take your time. Don't rush. Unless you need to, which I highly doubt. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, 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 bum. You can also just kind of do that. You can die too. Not what I meant to do. Oh boy. I can tell this is going to be fun. Alright. So sometimes you'll just get easy sections. There's the one up balloon. Usually, if you're gonna f uh, find a zinger or something, uh, God, I can't talk. Usually, shooting right when you can, you can get past the zinger fairly easily. All right. Can I, I gotta go all the way around, don't I? Wow, <laughs> that sucks. Like I said, just follow bananas, you're gonna be fine. That way. I'm gonna go down to the right. Keep following these barrels. I think you wanna go this way. Yeah. 
No, I was wrong. Oh, crap. Jump the gun. I guess that patience is all you need. I'm going here. There you go. Three, four, pow. And there you go. Uh, all right. I guess we're doing <laughs> these world by world. All right, so this is Cudgel. Really simple boss, actually. So you're gonna want to jump when he uh, comes down, else he'll kind of stun you. And then after a few times, he will uh, do his thing. TNT bar will come down. Wait till he comes down once again, and then smack him with the barrel. Repeat that several times. Really easy boss. I don't think I've ever had trouble with this boss at all. And you don't have to jump when he brings down the TNT barrel either. Just make sure you jump when you have the TNT barrel, or else you're going to have to do this again. Uh, this is the only annoying part. Oh god. He will jump after you and then drop the TNT barrel. And then just repeat it again. Should only need one more time or so. So, as you saw, I, I kind of got stunned there. It's not difficult to avoid. Okay. One more should do it. Just jump every time he jumps at you. Basically, when he lands, you want to be in the air. Oh, pfft. Very, very, very easy boss. Especially if you know what you're doing. But that is it for Creme Quay. <laughs> Even though I didn't get very many secrets. But that's okay. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and next time we will take on Crazy Quimland. Quimland. I can't talk. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.